Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 14th of exercise 9.1 <coughs> and the question says a 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon moving with, uh, moving with the wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meters from the ground the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eye of the girl at any instant is 60 degrees. After some time, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. You have to find the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval. Now, in this question, it is given that there is a girl which is 1.2 meter tall. This is the height of the girl. And from here, she uh, sees a balloon And from here, the angle of elevation of this balloon, obviously, if I make this straight line, so here the angle of elevation will be this will be the line of sight for the girl. And if I draw a horizontal line from here, so the angle between this horizontal line and the line of sight is the angle of elevation. This is given to you as 60 degrees. And it is given that after some time, the angle reduces to 30 degree. And because it is given that this balloon is moving in a horizontal line, so it must move straight. So it must move straight. And after some time, it is given that this angle, this angle is reduces to 30 degree you have to find the distance traveled by this balloon so you need to find this distance which this balloon has traveled traveled during this interval obviously this will be same as this and same as this so you need to find this because this is same as the distance traveled by this balloon and if you want to find this what you need to do is first of all find this and from this if you can subtract this the remaining will be the answer and this is also given that the horizontal line at the height of 88.2 meters means this balloon is 88.2 meter high from the ground so the height of this balloon from the ground must be 88.2 and this height is 1.2 so obviously this height must also be 1.2 and this must also be 1.2 so this height must be 87 because this is 88.2 and from this if I subtract this the remaining will be 87 and this is same as this so this is also 87 meters. Now, there are two triangles. First is this. And if I name them, this is A, this is B, this is C. And there is another, another, another triangle, this one. And if I name this, E and this point as D. So what you need to do is you need to find out the ratio for 10 theta in both the triangles and solving that you will get your answer. We need to find CE. We need to find CE and if you want to find CE what you have to do is you have to subtract BC from BE. If I subtract this BC from BE, the CE will be the remaining, which is the distance between uh, this balloon here. So let's find these distances in triangle. The, the first is ABC, 10 theta will be equals to perpendicular upon base. Now, in the first triangle, which is ABC, for this triangle ABC, the theta is given to you as 60 degree. This complete angle will be of 60 degrees. So here, the theta is given to you as 60 degrees. 
and for this theta for this theta the perpendicular will be the side opposite to this so this will be the perpendicular which is 87 meters because from 82 point uh, 88.2 meters i have subtracted 1.2 meters so this will be 87 meters and for this triangle base is b c this is the base for this abc triangle so the value of 1060 degree is root 3 this will be 87 upon bc if i cross multiply this or you can say i can replace these two things so the value of bc will be equals to 87 upon root 3 so this is our first equation now we know the value of bc now i have to find the value of be for that I will use the ratio for 10 theta in the second triangle which is DBE. This is bigger triangle. In this bigger triangle, I can find this BE. Now again I have to use the ratio for 10 theta that will be equal to perpendicular upon base. And for this triangle, the theta is given to you as 30 degrees. So here 10 30 will be equal to perpendicular again which is equal to 87 and the base here is B E 10 the value of root 10 30 is root 1 upon root 3 87 upon B E now if I cross multiply this the value of B E will be equal to 87 root 3 this is our second equation because cross multiplying BE multiplied by 1 will be BE and root 3 multiplied by 87 will be 87 root 3. Now if you want to find the value of C, to find the value of C what we have to do, we have to subtract BC from BE and the value of BE is 87 root 3 minus the value of BC is 87 by root 3. If you want to solve these kind of expressions, first of all take common because that will make your calculation easy. So from both I can take 87 as common. We can't take root 3 common because here the root 3 is in the numerator and here it is in the denominator. So root 3 cannot be taken common but 87 can be taken common because both are in the numerators. So 87 if I take common, so from this only root 3 will remain and from this if 87 is taken out only 1 upon root 3 will remain inside the bracket. Now I can further solve this. Now this is a fraction and if you want to solve the fraction you need to take the LCM. And the LCM of 1 and root 3 is root 3. Cross multiplying this multiplied by this will be 3. We know that root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3. And 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. This will be 87 multiplied by 2 upon root 3. Now I have already told you if there is a root in the denominator to solve this you have to first of all remove this root and to remove this root what you need to do is you need to multiply this with another root 3 so that root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3 but if you are multiplying with this you need to multiply with this also this is called rationalizing when you have to multiply with root with the denominator as well as with the numerator now if i multiply this this will be 87 multiplied by 2 is multiplied by root 3 upon 3 root 3 multiplied by 3 uh, root 3 is 3 this can be cancelled two times uh, this will be 29 and this will be 29 multiplied by 2 is 50 8 root 3 meters so this will be the answer this will be the distance traveled by this balloon in this interval if you substitute the value of root 3 as 1.73 and if you multiply it by 58 so the answer will come around 100 100 point something so this is how you can solve this question i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.